Does your Beam NG Drive game crash when you start it up? Do you have weird missing texture issues? Are you getting involved in Beam NG crashes, but they're the wrong kind of crashes? I'm going to give you five things you can do to help fix Beam NG Drive, plus a couple of bonus things to try. I'm David and Ark, and that's coming up next. All right, so I'm going to give you five things that you can do to try and fix your Beam NG Drive game. These are not necessarily in order, although generally speaking, this is probably a good order for troubleshooting. Number one is safe mode. This disables all your mods and certain settings. Now, this may or may not cure the issue, but it can often help you get started down the right path to fixing your game. Now, from the game launcher, you're going to go to support tools and then safe mode. Now, if safe mode works, then you should probably look at troubleshooting your mods. That's probably where the problem lies. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. If safe mode doesn't work, then you should lo also look at troubleshooting your mods. Yeah, basically most roads point to mods. That's where most of the trouble with BeamNG lies. Uh, sorry, it, that's just the way it is. Safe mode only disables the mods. It doesn't actually remove them. And there are some mods that can still affect the game even though they are disabled. So, moving ahead to number two. Number two, delete your mods. Okay, okay, you don't actually have to delete them. You can rename your mods folder to something like ZZ Mods, right? Now, the easiest way to get to your mods folder is from the game launcher. In the game launcher, choose Manage User Folder, then Open in Explorer. From there, you're going to right click on the mods folder, choose rename, and then just add ZZ to the beginning or the end of the folder name and launch the game. Now, if renaming the mods folder fixes your game, then the problem comes from one or more mods that are creating some kind of a conflict or some kind of a problem, period. No ands, ifs, but, but, buts. It's a mod problem. So, even if all of the mods worked before, something has changed either in the base game itself or with an updated version or an outdated version of a mod that is breaking your game. It's that simple. Now, to determine which mods might be the culprits, you can either add them back one by one until you find the one or several that seem to cause the conflict and crash your game, or if you've got a whole bunch of mods, what I would recommend is using the 50% approach, and that is add half of the mods back into the game and test them. See if everything works. If the game behaves and your textures are okay and the game doesn't crash, then you know that that half of the mods work just fine and you're going to pull those back out of the mods folder and put in the second half of your mods, all right? Now, if things break at that point, then you know that there is a problem in that second half of the mods. And you can kind of do a lather, rinse, repeat thing, right? Remove all those mods, divide that portion of mods in half, place the one half, which is now a quarter of your mods, into the mods folder, test them out. If they all work, okay, great. That means it's in the other part. If, they, if something isn't working, then you know the problem is in there. Now, there are a couple of caveats with this. Sometimes when you approach things this way, uh, everything seems to work. And then when you dump all the mods back together, it breaks things. What that means is you've got a couple of mods in each group that don't like each other. So you're going to have to do some troubleshooting to figure out what those mods are. Okay? So, unfortunately, it can be a long, drawn-out process, but it's a necessary evil when you're dealing with mods. Now, let's say things still don't work 
even when you have no mods installed. You've renamed the mods folder and things still don't work. Tip number three, some serious deep cleaning. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do at this point is clean your cache. This will effectively delete temporary files that the game uses to help speed up load times. And to do this, you're gonna to go to the launcher, go to support tools, then clear the cache. Now, depending on how, how long it's been since you've done this and or how many mods you've put in or other customizations that you've done, this can take a while. This could take anywhere from five minutes to a couple of hours. So just be patient and let it clear the cache. Now, if the game works after clearing the cache, then go back to what we talked about with the mods and start adding them in either one by one or 50% at a time until you figure out where the problem is. If you clear the cache and you launch the game with no mods and it still doesn't work, we got to dive even deeper. You got to dig a little deeper. Sorry, that's a song i can't sing it's copyrighted anyway moving on to step number four this next step is called the file integrity check what this does is it compares all of your game files to those that are part of the vanilla generic initial game download when you first download beam ng drive so it compares those files and then either fixes or replaces any files that are different than what the game expects. Now, much like clearing the cache, this part, this part can also take anywhere from five minutes to two hours or more. Now, to perform an integrity check, this you actually go to your Steam library in Steam. Then right click on Beam NG Drive, click Properties, then click local files. Now from there, you're going to see a series of options and you want to click on verify integrity of game files. And once that's done, launch the game. If the game works, then again, start adding your mods back either one by one or using the 50 50 test. Okay. It's up to you, of course, but just know that this is going to be an arduous process. If you're actually interested in troubleshooting. Okay. Now, if the game still crashes after you have done all of these other things, we move to step five. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, uninstall and reinstall, but no, actually, before you get to that, which we'll talk about in a moment, that's one of our bonus tips. The last thing I would say is that you want to make sure that dynamic reflections are disabled. There's an issue that has come up in version 0.23 and above, at least at the time of recording this video, that seems to crash people's games related to the new lighting system or something that's going on there. So to try this bit of troubleshooting, you're going to launch the game, and from the main menu, go to options. So you're not even going to try to load anything. Just go straight into options. Go to the graphic options. Scroll all the way to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, about halfway up the screen, you should see a setting for dynamic reflection. You want to make sure that you uncheck that box. Then I recommend you scroll back up to the top and click apply display settings. Now, I know some folks say you don't actually have to do that step because it, it actually just applies to the display settings section at the top. But in my personal experience, I've had mixed experiences where sometimes I didn't click apply and the game still acted up and other times I did click apply and it seemed to fix it. So I don't know, I'm just speaking from my own experience. So click it anyhow then try playing the game. Again, no mods, nothing else, just get back into the game. If the game works, go back to putting your mods in one by one or 50-50. Now, if the game still doesn't work at this point, there are two additional things you can try. One is the one I alluded to before, right? You've done everything, nothing seems to work. 
then at that point, frankly, you're going to have to uninstall the game. And not only uninstall the game, but you're also going to go into uh, your the folder where your user files are and delete everything. And then you also want to go into your Steam library file folder and delete anything related to BeamNG and then reinstall, re-download BeamNG drive from Steam and see if that fixes your game. Now, there is actually one more thing that can be messing with your game, and that's your video drivers. This is a weird, tricky little bit. So sometimes having the very latest, newest drivers installed fixes the game. So you want to make sure you have the absolute latest video drivers for your GPU. On the other hand, sometimes having the latest driver actually breaks the game, so you have to roll back to an older version of the video drivers that still work with the game. It's a very weird dynamic, and there's really not a set rule or cure for this. Basically, if you've tried everything else and you have the newest drivers for your video card and your game still crashes, Try rolling back the driver by downloading an older version. That's going to vary depending on your manufacturer. However, if you've tried everything and your game still crashes, but you don't have the latest video driver, well, go grab the newest drivers and see if that actually fixes your game. This one is an absolute wild card as to which one actually fixes the fix things, if at all. It's very bizarre. <laughs> All right, so I know I've given you a lot to munch on, but hopefully one of these steps, or maybe several of them, have helped you get your game back up and running. Hey, listen, if you have other tips or tricks to fix Beam NG Drive, let me know down in the comments, and if we get enough of them, then I'll put together another video with viewer tips. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to GamerGall, Hero of God, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. You can check Check that out at patreon.com slash David in Ark. Now, patrons get special mention in each video. Plus, we've got various merch levels if you're interested in that. Hey, you got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Leave those down in the comment section below. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive. This is David in Ark hoping you have a great day. Thanks for watching.